10. Okay. Dobra, Porsche chwali, tuning. So here we go. Qualification has started. First lap. It's not going to be an easy race, so the position will be very important. It's with, uh, the race will start with, uh, with rain or in rain. Let's warm up those tires before the first flying lap. I'm expecting P2, P3, P1 will be a surprise, I don't feel like P1 today. I have a fuel for 4 laps. And I cannot really save much on this first lap because I need to warm up those tires. And here we go, let's start this qualification. I'm on, a, I'm on a hard slicks, this is due to the high temps on the track, 43 degrees. Not a bad lap.
Hopefully I won't catch up. I think it's Schlimak there in front of me. In a moment we'll find out if this time is any better than the previous one. It is. And it's uh, a significant difference. But that was a mistake which probably costed me that advantage. The Delta. We'll see in a moment. Oh, that's a beautiful time. I'm going to keep it. Okay, I think that wasn't too bad. Let's just configure the car for uh, for a race. Uh, so load the setup. We'll be starting in rain. So we're going with wet. I'm going to double check quickly everything. Wet, 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 wet. One three, one three, one three, one three. Uh, yeah, it's all good here. I think we're ready. Pit strategy, uh, FN, so no fuel, tires mixed, and repairs none, fuel none. Okay, it has to do. I'm going to join another channel, uh, voice channel. I have one specially created for do not disturb. Here we go. So this, I just have to wait now. Uh, two minutes till the end of the qualification session and then probably under two minutes between the quali and the race and then it's the race. That was some good times. Two minutes, one second, seven seven four from McNajak. That's really good time. I didn't expect to go below two minutes, one second. I was thinking I'm rather going to be around one minute, two minutes, one second. That two minutes, uh, zero seconds, point six six zero is very unexpected. I'm very happy with the time. Nejal is really fast today. Two minutes, two seconds, point five one five. If he can keep his focus, uh, he can achieve quite a good result today. Like we all, we all have to keep our focus, right? Uh, we have some grid penalties here. Condi Gamer, Napro and Young Nigel. Very unfortunate. I think uh, nothing will change because the strongest rivals are already in pit in their garages so I don't expect them to I don't know I don't expect anyone else to improve so I think we have pole position here yeah that's uh, it's sleep race repeat racing team one and two for this race we have the front row to Lamborghinis then it's Porsche then it's Ferrari, then it's BMW. Okay, that's great result for Team Lamba. Hopefully we can deliver during the race as well.
not much time left. We just uh, we're just waiting now for this time to. run out and we will be starting the race oh no this is there's still session time so there is still two minutes left after this time uh, I'm going to put my mobile to silence don't want any distractions during this race okay I have to say, I really failed that Lamborghini during that qualification. I hope I can, I'll be able to say the same about the race itself. As I said, it's going to be wet. And then... Then we are going to have some dry conditions. So hopefully that wet track will be given the chance to dry out. And then we'll have... Here we go, that's raining already. And then we're going to have a fog. So it will be very, very interesting. Uh, double checking my setup. We are, I'm going to load it again. Bruno Lambo GT3 wet. Here we go. We can see wet tires on all four. We can see the fuel. Wet, 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 wet. Pressure. And the fuel all set up. Heat strategy. We have the one, fuel no, tires mix. I'm going to double check it. We still have some time. Yeah, that's the one I want. And we are, as a team, or I am, as myself, ready. There is nothing else I can do at the moment. This is just this is just to race now on. I have a drink close by, just in case, some water. 45 minutes long race. Conditions are what they are, not too good. Uh, there's ex we're expecting around 15 minutes of rain before it will start to dry out. I'm being challenged. By my teammate. Okay, we're going uh, we're going good now. I definitely won't be taking a zero risk. Let's put the vipers on. I mean wipers, of course. So it wasn't the best start. I, uh, I upshifted to the second gear a bit too early. I should have kept it on, uh, on the first gear for a bit longer. But generally, we kept the first place.
now we need to focus. I uh, and yeah, I'm not sure why I'm saying we. I think I mean me and you guys who are watching. Obviously, I mean I have to focus. This is two second, two seconds advantage over the second. The second is Nigel, so my teammate lost some positions from what I can see. I can see Martusha on the third in the BMW. So we have now Lamborghini, Porsche and BMW. And Magnajak is fourth, so he lost two positions. All good for now. Oh, no, it's not good. So we having the first signs of the puddles on the last corner. This is very dangerous. Four seconds advantage, more or less. And there is a small puddle on the first corner as well. Those puddles will be influencing my lap times. Also, I don't want to go too fast, don't want to take unnecessary risk. It's more about controlling what we have at the moment. Though I still have to remember that there will be a time to pit and change the tires from wet to slicks. And finding the right moment is a challenge in itself. One lap too early can cost you position, or more than one. Edel is quite fast in the Porsche. I'm not gaining a lot of advantage. I may need to accelerate a bit. Let's try to uh, increase the pace.
Okay, we increase the advantage over the second a little bit. That gap is now around five seconds from what I can see on my dashboard. And I trust my dashboard more than what we see in the left lower corner. The rain stopped. Mostly. It's not as wet as I expected it will be. In terms of puddles, of course the truck is wet, but there are less puddles than, than I expected to be. And um, they're not as deep. That is good news. There is a small puddle just next to the just to the next just next to the left curve, and it can be quite dangerous because it can suck us in to the left, throwing us or catapulting us towards the sand sand trap, and that is something we don't want. Okay, again, some more time. That was a bit late breaking. That will cost me at some time. A whole second. That's not good.
Still quite wet on the truck. Definitely drying, but let's see if my uh, race damage is set properly. It is. I won't be changing anything. I'll just continue. We're building that gap. I need to take care of those tires because those are wet tires and it's getting dry in the truck. The temperatures are rising significantly on those tires. They're still drivable, but I still believe it's a bit too early to change to dries. Maybe it's not, I'm not sure. Definitely some some wet patches here and there. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Let's hope I can keep it up. The last two turns are still quite wet. Here we go, there's a puddle here. I think I'm going to change the tires now. We've got 27 minutes till the end of this race. Uh, yes, this is online, to answer your question, Gaming Paul. This is part of a, a league, a championship, GT3 championship of our uh, league. Okay, I'll be pitting, I'll be changing tires and hopefully it is not a bad decision. Hopefully this is a good time to put slicks. Those sweats are overheating now horribly, so I have to change them. Yeah, this car is not reacting well to Hundred ten degrees on the left front. The tire is screaming. Limiter, get to the pit stop. 
There's mine. Fire change. Here we go. Bit limiter still engaged. I lost the first position. Magnajak went to the first. Oh no, I'm still first actually. He followed me to the pit. I have to get used to... Oh no, this was a horrible mistake. I said I have to get used to this... Sleeks. And I made the mistake. But that's okay, let's continue. Uh, they actually warm because we're using the blankets, warming blankets, so they had a good temperature. That was just a horrible mistake on my part. Uh, I don't know why I'm sliding so much. Maybe it is still a little bit too wet. We'll see. Yeah, it is a bit wet in some corners. Oh, someone made a mistake. I want to avoid that. Great job. That's the fastest final sector of anybody so far. Okay. Let's go. We can hear the water actually. The splashes. You're about to have a back marker. No reason in time. Yeah, people are still struggling, that's true. Great stuff, you're faster than anybody in the second sector. Someone hit those tires here. There's this puddle here, we have to be careful here. Yeah, here we go. That's your fastest lap in the race so far.
Another bug marker. Hopefully he has the blue flags already visible. I won't be making any problems with overtaking. Thank you very much, it was really nice. He's still somewhere there. I'll go white just to avoid any contact. And the puddle again, I hate it. On slicks in that water, that car goes straight there for a moment. I have around four and a half seconds advantage as per my dashboard. Yeah, aquaplaning is really tough, even on wets, and we are on slicks now. It's getting foggy. <laughs> so we had this weather Night one, UPB. picked randomly 48 hours before this race and the random pick was rain to start with, then a bit of dry and then fog. So it's not, those are not the easiest conditions. Especially for the setup, because we have uh, quite reasonable temperatures during rain. Then it got really hot during the sunny part. And then the temperature will drop again during the foggy part. And of course the visibility drops as well. Fifteen minutes to go. Fifteen minutes, so we have uh, two-thirds of a race behind us, one-third of the race still to go. We have a good advantage over the second, almost six seconds.
and more than 10 seconds over the third one. Yes, the fog uh, influences the the trucks and ambient temperatures. So at the hottest point, I was 35 ambient and 43 truck, and now we have 20 ambient and 35 truck. So the idea is that fog covers the sun and it doesn't warm up the truck. We've got some rain coming in in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't think it's going to rain. They're warning us about it because the weather is looped. So if that race was longer than 45 minutes, it would start raining, but it will finish. Seven seconds, we're in a good place, but keep pushing. Uh, it's a time race, so it's 45 minutes. And we have 13 and a half minutes left. Around Two months ago we had a glorious two and a half hour long race in LMP2 cars, that was amazing. But the GT3 championships are uh, 45 minutes long races with random weather. Yeah, LMP2 is my favorite category. Algra Algra Algrave? The Portugal. I think it's called Algrave, right? I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. Portimao. Oh, I was breaking a bit too late. I didn't have chance to test LMP3 actually. Oh, someone made a mistake here. With this fog, it's really easy to miss the breaking point. I'm okay, I'm okay. I was actually quite lucky with back markers so far because uh, out of three or four I overtook, I had to I had to do it on track only once because the, in, all the, in all the other cases they actually made a mistake and went wide. That costed us some time, but better to lose a second or two than have a crash. Ten minutes to go. We have ten minutes to go, 21 liters of fuel, that should be more than enough. That 
the fastest first sector time. I don't know what who's who is the fastest lap. I don't think I have I have it. Let's try to grab fastest lap for the extra point in the qualification. On the classification, sorry. I'm on a wheel, yes, that's correct. Uh, it's a Fanatec CSL Elite. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I think everyone in this race is on a wheel. Uh, we're driving on the realistic helps. No so it would be... So I think it would be too hard on a, on a controller. leaving me space so I couldn't go at the maximum speed out of this corner because I had to brake thank you very much that's really nice I have a fastest lap at the moment so that's extra point at the end of the race Thank you. 
two laps. So it's assigned by lottery. Before the championship started, there was a lottery when they were assigning two cars of each kind. So there were two Lambos, two Porsche, and so and so on. HT3. And I got Lamborghini, which I really like in terms of the how it looks like design. The Lamborghini is beautiful, in my opinion, of course. But uh, but I don't know how the other cars drive because I didn't have chance to test them so you know I got the Lambo and I'm driving Lambo and that's it really you need to work a lot with the setup with Lambo it's very unpleasant to drive on a default set locks brakes very unstable. Uh, no, in GT3 all cars are real wheel drive. So in the real life, I mean, sorry, in in street car, yes, it's for all wheel drive. But in the GT3, the specification says that all cars has to be real wheel drive. So Lamborghini had to reboot that. Drive system to real wheel drive. The same was with the, with the old class GT1, there was a Lamborghini Diablo in GT1 and then in the later GT1 there was Murcielago and even though they were all-wheel drive, yes, there is a balance of performance in GT3 which equalizes all cars to be maybe not the same but very similar. Though they drive differently, right? They've got different aero, dif different gearbox, different engines, and so on and so on. So you, so there are differences in how they drive, but in terms of performance, they should be equal. the final lap by the way so this is just enough to deliver it oh definitely definitely I, I agree Oh, there's a lot of cars around. <laughs> People are having trouble on that last lap. I hope he's not racing, it's just uh, uh okay. No, I don't think they're equal in terms of the power, because they're also not equal in terms of uh, weight. So, they have different power, they have different uh, weight, they have different weight distribution, they have... Uh, but they also have uh, different air restrictors. So some of them may be more restricted than others just to equalize the power. So that's how they do it.
Okay, it's a clean win. One small mistake. Uh, not really, it's just a matter of uh, getting used to the car and creating a good setup. So as I said, that Lambo, it's really bad to drive on a default. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. So I had to work on the setup to make it drivable. At the second place, Nijal. That's Martusha. She's six. She had to have some trouble. So, the girl in the BMW, she's really good driver. So I'm a bit surprised that she's only six. I was expecting her in the top three. She can challenge me and she won races with me before. But I think she had less luck today. Yeah, it's possible. The puddles were uh, horrible. They were not too deep, but on the slicks, they were treacherous. Two seconds and it's over. Well done, mate. You won the race. You really, really earned it today. Great job. Here it is, the results. So we have best lap. Yes, we do have this lap, just so my teammate in Lamborghini, who's on third, was very close. But we got the best lap as well. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll be streaming on Monday again. This, this time it's going to be Gran Turismo Sport. I'm not that good at Gran Turismo Sport, but I enjoy racing with, with the friends with my friends on in that league so yeah thanks again i hope you enjoy it and uh i will see you all next time